Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Trading Tutor channel. In this video, we'll be looking at the recent stocks in the news. Before we go into the topic, I'd like to tell you about the stock market brokerage firm that is Alice Blue. So with Alice Blue's brokerage services, you'll get excellent exposures and margin for trading in the stock market. So be sure to create your DMAT account with Alice Blue by clicking the link in the description and filling out your details. Now let's go into the news. On August 14, that is today, we'll be having a few result, Q1 results announced, which will include Grassim Industries, IDBI Bank, Walkhart, Jindal Steel and Power, India Bulls Real Estate, IDFC, Reliance Capital, and HEG. ONGC was in the news as their Q1 results were announced, showing a profit jump of 46% to 5,904 crore rupees. Their revenue fell 0.8% to 26,554.7 crore rupees quarter on quarter. Bama Lorry's Q1 results showed consolidated profit falling 37.6% to 24 crore rupees year on year. Their revenue slipped 11.8% to 431.4 crore rupees year on year. Apollo Hospital's Q1 results were announced showing consolidated profit jump of 68.5% to 57 crore rupees and their revenue rose 16.4% to 2571.9 crore rupees year on year. Ashoka Biltcon was in the news as their Q1 results showed profit increase of 1.1% to 64.6 crore rupees. Their revenue jumped 28.2% to 878.8 crore rupees year on year. HDFC Life Insurance Q1 results showed that the Standard Life Insurance will be selling 2.5% with an upsize option of an additional 0.7% in HDFC Life on August 14th, according to reports from CB CNBC TV18. Coal India's Q1 results were announced showing a net profit up by 22.3% at 4,629.7 crore rupees. Their revenue was up 3.6% at 27,934 crore rupees year on year. Godrej Industries Q1 results showed consolidated profit jumping 31% to 103.4 crore rupees. Their revenue dipped 3.6% to 2,845.1 crore rupees year on year. Rain Industries was in the news as their consolidated profit has slipped 51.7% to 147 crore rupees. Their revenue has declined 12% to 3,341.1 crore rupees. Nalco's consolidated profit has fallen 85.8% and their revenue has dipped 29.9% in their Q1 results. Glenmark Pharmaceuticals showed a profit fall of 53% to 109.3 crore rupees and their revenue has also risen 7.3% to 2,322.9 crore rupees year on year. Mahindra and Mahindra was in the news as India Ratings and Research has reaffirmed the company's long-term issuer and instrument rating at IND AAA. The outlook is currently stable. Container Corporation of India and Indian Railways joined hands to commence container train operations from Suranusi in Firozpur Division of Northern Railway. SIAT has entered into an addendum agreement with Tires and more for making a further investment of up to a few crore rupees in the company. Wipro has launched Edge Artificial Intelligence Solutions powered by Intel. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on stock market and trading, please subscribe to this channel.